What is up, my watch peeps? Frontline Watches is back in the building. We've been out for a minute, but uh, we're back here and we're about to do a real quick state of the collection. This is going to be the quickest state of the collection you've ever experienced. So sit back, relax, enjoy, grab yourself a brew or a cup of coffee or whatever it is you do, your drink of preferred liking. Um, I'm going to try and do this real quick. We're going to do some of the watches that I had for a while, and then we're going to end up with the watches that I really, um, kind of wear all the time. So here we go. I don't know if y'all know this one. This is a Gruen. Um, it is a Gruen that was used in one of the first James Bond movies. One that was used in one of the first James Bond movies. It's a really good watch. Um, it keeps actually really good time. Um, but you know, straight dress watch, you go out with this. I've got it on a nice little um, uh, little gator strap right here. Um, but it is just such a nice little watch. It's like 36 millimeters and um, it wears really, really good keeps time really really well i love these little gold indices you got there and everything so it's a good watch man i like it i like it every once in a while i pop it on and it runs really well i scored this one off of ebay i think so it's a good watch here is a little citizen here i got this citizen this is another 36 millimeter um really good watch man um i actually got this watch out of a thrift store uh, I think I paid like uh, like 20 bucks for it. Um, it's about 100 bucks for this watch. But, I mean, it's really, really, really good watch. Um, you know, I, I, it keeps like precision time. Precision time. I mean, the time that it keeps is awesome. awesome. It hits all the indices, as you can see. Um, just a really, really good watch. It's like a blue dial, um, sunburst dial. Love this watch. Really good watch, man. P. Ross, Seiko, Seiko, Seiko. Everywhere you go, Seiko. Yeah, this is my Seiko. Um, I'll put the reference number for this down in the in the bottom of the screen. Um, this Seiko watch, man, is so dope. Like, this is a dope watch. This is definitely a, like, underrated, super underrated watch. Um, I love it, dude. It's just brilliant. Keeps great time. You know, Seiko, uh, you got to do a little Seiko shuffle in the morning when you want to wear it. But this watch is like totally, totally date, date just esque <laughs> if that's a word, if that's a thing. But this watch is Superman. Stunning watch. Um, I mean, the lighting here is not doing it any justice. But if you just look at it like that, man, look at that watch, dude. That watch is dope. Uh, the finishing is awesome. Uh, yeah, I love this watch, man. You could wear this jeans and t-shirt, dress, whatever you want to wear it with. You could wear it with. Great watch. Once again, it's on J Money right here. Y'all know what this is. This is that 23, baby. Jordan right here. This is the Seiko Special. Uh, $75 watch that looks like a million bucks. Uh, I can't. It, what else can be said about this watch? Nobody needs to have a big old commentary about it. Um, you know the watch. You know the finishing. The watch is like sick, dude. This is a sick watch. It's one of my first, uh, actually one of the first Seikos that I bought. And uh, I saw it on Houdinki. And after I saw it on Houdinki, I was like, I got out of that watch, man. And it took me a little while to get it. And I actually paid a little bit more than 75 bucks for it. I think I paid like 100 and something. But worth it. Goes with everything, man. You can wear anything with this watch. This watch is so dope, dude. Love this watch. No anti-reflective coating, though, as you can see me. All right. This watch right here, man. This is actually a really cool watch by Seiko. It is a Seiko um, Perpetual Calendar Chronograph. So it keeps really, really good time, man. I'll put the reference number down below, uh, like I said. But, I mean, this watch is like an amazing watch uh obviously those aren't thermal blue hands they're just regular hands i think that are dipped in like some blue paint or whatever 
and then you got a crescent moon down there in red but dude this watch is dope um if if you ever have a chance to pick it up pick it up um it's pretty cool i, I like it i don't wear it enough though so i'm probably thinking about letting it go i got the box and papers for it anybody interested let me know but um it's still a super awesome watch i love this watch a lot everybody gotta have a vostok this is my little vostok Kamandarsky. yeah this watch is like um i think they're going for like the aeronautical theme um but this watch is super cool man super cool watch kind of sucks when you got to set the date that's the only thing i don't like about it when you got to get set the date and you got to do the back and forth back 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 and forth yeah that drives me nuts but um other than that man love the watch keeps great time cool little watch man uh ever since i got it box and papers for this one too and uh but i'm probably gonna keep this one because I, I really just like having a russian watch all right this dress watch is very special to me um uh this is the watch that i was married in man this is a fossil watch um as you can see it kind of disappears it'll go right on the cuff but this watch is so dope fossil or not look at that dude um, it's kind of dirty. Shoot, I should have cleaned it up a little bit. Uh, stand by. There you go. That's a little bit better. Um, yeah, man, this watch is wildly deceiving, dude. Like, it's such a beautiful watch, man. And you really can't get really, really, like, a good look at it because it's got no anti-reflective coating. But, but this watch literally is like the hands are basically floating uh on this watch they fossil did something um their architect series man their architect series is a dope series if you ever have a chance to like look into that you can't really find it anymore but their architect series is so they made such good watches the finishing the fit um this one has an integrated bracelet press class which kind of sucks but um Dude, the watch feels like it's not on your hand. Keeps brilliant time. Brilliant time. But, um, yeah, these ones are really, really nice, man. Um, but I'm always going to keep this watch. It's going nowhere. Wore it on my wedding day. Love this watch. Here's another watch from the Architect series of Fossil. Um, like I said, these watches, man, I got these back when I was in college, dude. I was doing this since I was in college collecting watches. But, um this one here actually is a chronograph and and it works brilliantly in fact i'll show you it because um it's kind of cool to see what it does um oh oh uh you can barely see the hand that's why um it's it's actually ticking there i'll try to like there you go you can kind of see it right there ticking but um brilliant brilliant watch man like um the the finishing like i said out of this architect series is you know they got the recess um concentric circles there on the dial um the symmetry how they made the dial it just looks freaking fantastic dude like this is awesome watch anytime you run across one of these please and it's and it's all integrated bracelets and um you know, some of the gold is starting to, the, the gold that's on it is starting to come off now. But still, even though it's starting to do that, it's just, it still looks so good. And uh, I wear it uh, every so often, every so often. This is a keeper, though. I mean, I've had these so long now, these architect watches that um, they're going nowhere. Look at this beauty here. This snuck in under the radar on you guys. Yep, you read it right. Hamilton. Uh, I got to do a review on this and tell you all the story about how I attained this watch. It's got blued hands. Um, it's it's like the beautiful that I had it. The, the dial is really patinaed at this point. Um, the case is white gold. But look, it's uh, this watch is from the 1920s, guys the 1920s if you could believe it or not and listen to that i mean that thing sounds brilliant as it winds man um yeah this watch here is 
probably the coolest watch I have. As you can see, it's still working now. I'll tell you it's working, but it it speeds up as the day goes on. Um, I got it serviced. It was running well. I lent it to my wife one day. She dropped it. And then after that, it started speeding up. So I have to get it serviced again and then probably not lend it to my wife. Uh, not this one anyway. She can wear any other one, but this she can't wear this one. But this is a Joe 1920s field watch here, guys. Look at the hands, man. The hands are blue. I mean, this is awesome. Here's another watch I got here. This is a guess, dude. Fashion watch. I, I got it all mixed up in the collection, guys. Oh, upside down. We better turn the right side up. This is another chronograph. Um, this one, though, the battery is dead. The cool thing about this watch, and I wish I could show it to you guys. Maybe I'll do a review and then show you guys how cool this watch is. This has uh, indigo. So indigo is on this watch. So it, it literally, the back whole back of the watch lights up, dude. Uh, it, it's an amazing watch. The bezel, listen to this. Hold on, let me make sure you can hear this. I mean, super tactile sounding, dude. This bezel is like legit. Um, yeah, I got this one in college too. And uh, yeah, I used to wear this thing all the time. As you can see, it's pretty beat up, man. It's uh, It's been through the ringer, but this is one attached to a whole bunch of different memories, man. And I cannot ever ever give this one up dude this is a good watch all right now we get into the watches that i wear most often man um being a paramedic uh i need watches with precision timing stuff that really is accurate and really holds it down um this is the seiko and like it, like the others i'll just put the actual numbers down at the bottom of this one, so I'm done. Um, this Seiko watch, dude, is amazing. You understand what I'm saying? This chronograph that Seiko made is like none other. And, you know, it's it's about a 44 millimeter, I think, right about there, if, if I'll correct it, if it's not. But I think it's a 44 millimeter, but it wears literally like a 40. Like a 40. <laughs> I mean, when you get it on wrist, it's unbelievable how Seiko has the artistry down when it comes to making a big watch look small. Um, look at that. Look at that uh, glass on it, dude. That is unbelievable. Um, I don't care that it's not sapphire. It is such a beautiful dome crystal, man. Um, yeah, you know, anti-reflective is lacking. But um, usually with this, I need I work in the day um, when I have I have watches that I wear in the night. But dude, the finish! Look at these hands, man. These swords, <laughs> these hands are crazy, bro. This is an amazing watch, man. Uh, I truly, truly love this watch. It's a good watch. Ding, ding, ding! Fashion watch alert. Uh, this is a Dolce and Gabbana right here. All right, and as you can see, the chronograph is already going in here. I'm going to stop that and start that over. But yeah, this watch, um, try to find it. I try to find it. When I got this watch, once again, this is a college. When I was in college, by the way, I graduated from college in 02. Um, but this watch, man is such a good watch um people who hate on fashion watch you just got to find the right ones man you got to take your time look figure out what's good figure out what's not this watch is dope this watch right here <sighs> killer right here um i love it i love it for my job i'm able to time stuff and do stuff and it's um super accurate quartz whatever um but this watch right here ever 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 have a chance you run you run across one of these and the color play is crazy now the only thing i have with this that is weird because i wanted to put it on a nato is these um will make you believe like it's a uh, push push pins to release this uh bracelet but actually they are um they are they are right 
they are all the way through, just a bar all the way through. And so really you have to take a hammer to knock it out. It's like nuts, man. This is <laughs> insane. But, but other than that, um, this is a brilliant watch. Love this watch right here. We all know, goes without saying, the Duro's in the house. Uh, I got the blue variant. Still got the Marlin there on the dial. Um, yeah, there's a Walmart right across the street from me, man. They got, like, tons of these <laughs> sitting over there. Uh, nobody into watches out here but me. But, um, yeah, the finishing on these Duro's, dude, are unreal man i don't know why people these watches are classics bro these are classic yeah they're about 50 bucks and but 200 meter water resistant finishing like that i got it on the blue nato just killing it like these watches are dope sorry about the wrist shot guys i'll try to get some wrist shots in for you guys but these watches phew, the duro baby yeah man here's the orient I know you got to have an Orient in there somewhere. The Ray 2. Um, love this watch. Quote, unquote, SKS killer. Um, my man P. Russell said that. He says that all, his all the time. This is the SKX killer. Um, but, you know, it's a really good watch. It's a solid watch. Um, solid dive watch. Um, homage to uh, the Rolex Submariner, I would say. But has its own aesthetics, kind of looks a little bit different than that. You know, the bezel is a little bit different. and you know. But these wear really well. Press class is terrible, but um, these wear really, really well, really comfortable. They look great on your hand. Um, yeah, these are, these are really good watches, man. Orient makes some good watches. Well, when your big brother is one of the uh, biggest brands in uh, all of Japan, you better you better bring it man but these are really good watches man look at that look at the finishing on those watches man they're good i like them okay now we're gonna slow down for a second because i really want you all to man this watch is this watch is probably one of my favorite watches in the collection man I mean, this watch is dope. If you don't have a Weiss watch in your collection, get one. My man was out of Los Angeles. Now he's in Nashville. He is doing it. The customer service is ridiculous. Um, I mean, you can have just about anything engraved on the back of the watch. I had a few things engraved. You could tell I'd be wearing this. Look at the... That elastic NATO band is like dirty, but um, look at the movement, y'all. Look at the movement. This guy is doing some things. Look at the wave Geneve on these watches, dude. Like, look at the finishing, man. Like, he's out there doing some craziness. And I am going to tell y'all, I'm going to do a review on this because I've had this now for over a year. This keeps fantastic time. And let me tell you something. I wear this watch, man. Like, if you look at this watch, I, and I hit this watch against stuff and stuff, these hands are thermally blued. Um, I mean, this watch? This watch is dope, y'all. This watch is a dope watch. If you don't mess with Weiss, you should. Start messing with the dude. Um, he ain't give it. I don't get any money from this. I'm just telling you. He's got dope watches. Dope watches. Had to get a Seiko 5, you know the drill. Seiko 5, baby. Had to get at least one of them. Classic case, SKS case, you know. I mean, these watches are like, they're going to be around for a very long time. You know, people were sad when the SKS discontinued, but they came up with these. Yeah, you don't have the divers, 200 meters, whatever. These watches are dope as well, man. They wear well, they look well. I got this variant here. I slapped it on a NATO strap. Like, um, yeah, we know the bracelets and stuff, the straps that comes with Seiko's, they're terrible, whatever, cost-serving method. But uh, these watches, dude, absolutely amazing. If you ever get a chance to get a Seiko 5, they got a plethora 
of these watches. So, and the loom, I don't have to talk about it. This loom, they got it kind of aged looking, but still as bright as heck. So, ever get a chance to get on one of these watches, man? Jump on it. These are dope. Dope. Last but not least, man. Um, yep, you saw it. You see it on the dial. Um, Rolex Day Just, man. Uh, got this from my dad, Two Tone. Um, my dad met up with me in Miami and we hung out for a while. And at the end of the trip, man, he was like, I got something for you. And uh, my dad's a big watch guy. He's always been a watch guy. And he has some Seikos, some Grand Seikos, and uh, some other Rolexes. But um, he gave me this one, dude. And this watch is like butter. I mean, it's Rolex, man. What else can I say about it? I could give you reference numbers. I could do all of that stuff, but who really cares? These watches are iconic, man. And uh, the symmetry, the look, the fit, the feel, it, it, there's just nothing more you can say about these watches. I mean, look, just the fluted bezel, dude, just glisten. The gold links. Um, weird thing about this day chest though, this model here, um, the end links are not solid. And um, I put a strap on it one time, so I have to take it in. And when I put the strap on it, look, uh, when I put the bracelet back on, it started gapping. And so now it makes this little like <laughs> jingly jangly sound. Um, but hey, still a very nice watch i don't care i don't care the next time i get it serviced i'm sure they'll correct all of that stuff um box papers i got the whole nine with it it's just a beautiful watch uh it also came with um and i have never seen this before but it also came with this i'll show you guys this um it's this is super cool look at this right here that's right it's a swiss army knife with rolex on it dude i don't know much people who's got this I, I have never seen it but um yep that's a dope gift they gave when my dad bought it i guess so he gave me everything that came with this watch so um but guys that's it man that's the collection um the pretty much the main stuff i got some other stuff around here I'm more than happy to show you guys that but um yep that's the 20 21 as it stands state of collection um i'm thinking about bringing in uh another rolex which would be the submariner this year um but i gotta do some purging to get to that level um but you know thanks guys thanks for hanging out i'm gonna try to edit this up get it out to you and uh hopefully get some of you guys watching and uh let me know if you want to see any close encounters with these watches man i'm more than happy to like let you see some close-up stuff and let you see some uh uh better reviews here i'm gonna try and do a few more reviews this year so uh just let me know and i might even show my face so all right guys thanks for watching and uh hope to see you soon please like subscribe i think that'll build my confidence to do a lot more of these videos man all right guys